the whole country should see those subtropical northerlies finally clear off to our east. G'day guys, it's finally happened. Been trying to go for a fish for the last two weeks and the weather has been shit. Lots of wind and rain, but the forecast has finally come right. We're heading to the Eastern Bay of Plenty, one of my favorite spots. That's where I caught my PV snapper last year. So we might have a look at that location. We're gonna go scout a new one. Love the Eastern Bay of Plenty. Bush comes down to the sea. They've got beautiful marais. It's well looked after by the local iwi. So let's get into it. You're gonna enjoy this one. Mana River. It's going to be the issue with all the rain that the countryside's had lately. To have good um, lure fishing, I'm going to have to try to get away from the rivers. I can imagine she's going to be a bit dirty and close out east. My first look at the sea. She's looking flat as. Epic guys, new location. I love it, eh? Love, love exploring new spots, that's what I really enjoy. That's why you don't see me thrashing the same spots often. Check this location out. She's got a cold southerly wind this morning, got a bit of bite in it, so I'll be sticking in close to shore and I forgot to bring my drogue along, so if the current's a bit uh, swift, I'm just gonna have to. Just work the coastline in close. Starting soft bait for the day. It's a four inch paddler, colour smoky shad on a five eighth ocean angler jig head, light bulb jig head. First fish of the trip. Nothing big. It's been so tough. That's a little snapper though. There we go. Nice little snapper. Gotta find all your mates. Beautiful little snapper. I'll keep one like you later on for dinner. Nice. That's what we've come for. Nice fatty. Beautiful fish. I'll just slowly slide you up. There we go. Solid hooker. Oh, I can see it's so shallow in there. It's in the weed now. Swim out, bud. Swimming out would be ideal. What we found where to target the fish? Right and shallow. Only seven metres now, so we swam out a little bit. Change the angle. that fish I think it's going to be prudent to retie the trace
Try another lefty sloop. I'm only using 20 pound fluorocarbon. So it would have got pushed a little bit with that one. Oh, I saw the yak. They're fighting well. Bigger into one of the big brutes you have around here. Had to be something around that reef. Nothing wrong with that one. Epic. Back in time. It's a bloody good snapper. Holy shit. It was snapper sign. It was good snappers. Yeah, so I don't know, just drop down on him again. Oh, he's really swallowed down. There we go. Well, we're going to hit you, dude, because uh, you've taken it down too deep. Shark, I think. So either that or it's a good kingy. But the initial take, I was thinking more of a snapper, but the arches underneath me are more like kingies. Edge of a nice little reef that come out. Just on the edge of it. Front face of it. Probably a rat king. I'm picking. That was just dropping the coolie tail straight down the new catch one I've been given to Troy. Oh yeah, I've woken up. This is my new rod. The Kuma MC 8 to 12 kg soft bait rod. I was just wanting to um, get more use out of my Lexus so I've um, went to a soft bait rod on it and sold my um, my soft bait spin heavy setup to Rex. Just trying to minimise rods on the kayak and this is one way I can drop off one. Whoa, look at that. And that's epic when it runs. Oh, the old Lexer, eh? What a beast. Here it comes. That's not a bad kingfish, Oz. That's not a bad kingfish. It's definitely a legal kingfish, I'd say. Here we go, guys. Nice. I spent the afternoon changing locations and checking out a couple uh, spots from my favourite movie, Boy. Boy. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Thank Wanna you. see some Michael Jackson dance moves? Hey, boy. Thank you, boy. Guys, it's mainly soft baiting today. Today's goal is to try to pull a big moocher out of the shallows. I haven't actually fished this spot here before, but we're gonna go and fish some areas that I've actually fished before. Give them a go. So I don't want to spend too long here. Let's go and get fish for the morning. A little penny. Onto a kahoi. 
maybe it's a little bit big for a livey. But it'd be nice to get a nice small English candy one. I've changed over to the seven-inch Bruce Banana Duke Shed. There you go, guys. morning for me to be keeping them so we'll put it back. Where you go. This is a spot that's been kind to me in the past but it normally has a good little bit of um, lift from the waves but today it's just dead flat. Oh, Fortunately you just swam away from that reef that was only two metres under the surface. But... He knows his turf, this guy. I changed to a shrimp pattern thing that's so still, something with a bit of wiggle and pink laguna. Oh, that's not hurt. Got some hurt going on there, big fella. Rod, rod under load at the moment. <laughs> That's called high sticking, which you're not meant to do. We're at nine meters, so. Would be good to get that draw cleared around here. It's keeping the pressure on you, big fella. Might be able to get the kite I'm not even going to reach to the net till I see this tie it out, but I have to concentrate. It is a fucking big snapper. Like, big, I mean, huge. Isn't that pretty? This could even be bigger than the one I got last last year. That's definitely a 20 pounder. 20 pounder all day. That is a donkey. Come on around, I'll spin you around big guy. Here we go. It's big. That is big. Can the net fit it? Here we go. Paddle out of the way. Let's bring it on. That's a heavy fish. It's well over 20. Big boy. Yes. Awesome. Sorry dude, I'm gonna unhook that. You were well and truly hooked. That wasn't going anywhere. There we go. That's over the side. Find that tape measure. Eighty-eight centimeters, big boy. Starting to get a lot of life back in him. Okay. There he goes. Yes. Didn't think we had him for a bit. He'll be right. Epic. 
Let me just keep it. Bugger! I should have checked that after that last snapper. <laughs>